Daniel Cotton, professional freestyle footballer and three-time world record holder. Today you've been working with ASC Liverpool at Brasilica 2011. Have you enjoyed yourself today? Yeah, it's been an uh, amazing day. Uh, the crowd have been uh, brilliant. I couldn't ask for a better audience. Liverpool always football mad city, so uh, they always react well to football freestyle as well. Uh, participated in a freestyle competition here today. Did you yeah. spot any future potential competitors? <laughs> yeah, I did the judge the freestyle competition today. It was good, so I did a show to start off and then got a junior and an adult competition, which was good. Some of the kids were, were brilliant. Um, one of the guys who won it was doing some really cool tricks like around the world. I think he managed to catch it on his neck and do a flick up, which is brilliant. I think the only thing I could even do that at his age, so definitely a potential star in the making. Being a professional freestyle footballer, um, what opportunities has that brought to you? Um, yeah, so I've been doing this as my full-time job for two years and I've been um, travelling mostly around the country but I've also managed to travel around the world working with some of the biggest companies in the world working with Adidas, um, Carlsberg, um, you know, Aon, Eon, Sayat, you name the company and I've probably done some work with them so it's been really amazing. Earlier this year I actually got to um, do a um, the Carlsberg end of season party. I got to perform for Dirk Cow and Robbie Fowler, and I got to meet them as well. So that was that was really awesome. Obviously, to get to mix and mingle with the celebrities, so that's brilliant. So it's managing to meet your heroes as well at the same time. Yeah, yeah, managing to meet your heroes. Yeah, obviously, there's the South footballers I'd still love to meet, but um, along the way, I've got to meet people like Roberto Carlos, who's obviously just a, a legend kind of in, in the sport and, and other footballers like that. So I've been really lucky to obviously through doing my tricks to meet some of the world's best footballers. And how long has it taken to reach this level? So I've been practicing for um, ever since I was young, played on local teams and then just thought, you know what, didn't really have a passion to want to play football when I was kind of 13, 14 years old. I used to be outside playing, um, doing keep up ease. me and my friend just used to practice, 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 practice every day. Um, and, and that's what it is, it sounds cliche to say it, but it is practice. You can teach certain tricks and moves, you can look on YouTube and find out, oh, that's what someone's doing. But what I've tried to do is be creative of it as well. So that's why I incorporate the backflips and the, and the different gymnastic moves, as well as doing the, the round the world and the other the tricks that you might see me doing. But it is just practice, practice, practice all day, like maybe three or four hours a day practice. Obviously, when I'm working, it means that I've got the opportunity to practice even more. Like today, being here, it's been brilliant meeting people, showing them my tricks, and it's just more practice, practice, practice. When people watch this video and uh, see you doing all your tricks, how can they follow in your footsteps? Okay, well obviously, um, as I said, there's only there's certain tricks like you can learn, and I run workshops up and down the country in schools and things like that, where I teach kids, they get the opportunity to see me perform, can teach them some skills. Um, obviously YouTube's a great place. I'm actually going to be uploading some videos onto my website, which is uh, teaching you some simple tricks. So uh, check out that on www.danielcutting.com and um, it's just a case of you see someone else do it, like when I was young I saw some freestylers doing it and I was like wow, that's what I want to be doing. So I went, I watched them and I pre practiced it, replicated what they were doing and then tried to be creative and add more to it as well. I hear you're a Guinness World Record holder as well, so can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, yeah so earlier this year I achieved a lifetime ambition. I've always wanted to know that I'm the best at something in the world. That's always been something I've aspired to do. And earlier this year um, at MK Don Stadium I broke three Guinness World Records. Um, so I've got the record for the most consecutive football touches with the lips. So instead of doing headers, like that, I was doing them off the lips, like this. And uh, the record was... Um, I think it was 107 in a minute, and I did 153 in a minute. Uh, so you didn't break it, you smashed yeah, it. Yeah, smashed it. Yeah, that's the one I do more records. I like to smash it. I don't like to just beat them. The other one was the most consecutive football rolls across the forehead. So rolling the football from temple to temple, just like that. It was, uh, I think it, no, it was 553, and I did 1,810. So I beat that by like three times the amount, which was brilliant. And the last one, my favourite one, is for the fastest 100 metre sprint with a ball balance on the head. And that was 23 seconds by a Malaysian guy, and I did it earlier this year in just under 18 seconds. So that's my favourite one, just running with the ball 100 metres, running with it on your head. 18 seconds on the head. 18 seconds, yeah. yeah. Not bad. If you didn't have the ball on your head, you'd probably be able to take on your same ball. Yeah, exactly, maybe. He's about, yeah, I suppose, what does he do it in? Nine? So. Nine points. Nine so about points. half the speed of him, which isn't too bad with the ball on the head. Yeah, so. yeah. It takes a lot so. of control. Yeah, control, practice. So I practiced for that one for about six months. So just started off getting the balance, just on my head like this. And when you've got that, when you're running with it, obviously you've got to kind of have it here because you're running into it. You can't have it balanced too high. But it's getting that balance and, that, and then just running. 
trying to keep it balanced at all times. But, yeah. No, it's really cool. Uh, is there any other world records that you'd like to attempt? Yeah, actually, there is a world record. There's a trick called Around the Moon. Uh, can I demonstrate that trick? Yes, yeah, sure. It's just like this, the ball from here, going around like, it's like around the world with your head. So I'll just show you that again. So you catch it on your neck, and you, and you flick it off around, around your head. So I think the world record's 62 in a minute. And I've had a go, and I've done about 35 in 30 seconds. So I think if I keep practicing, I'll be on about 70 in a minute. So that's the one that I want to get, which will be uh, hopefully later this year. So check out that coming up soon. Yeah, go back onto uh, danielcutting.com. Yeah, danielcutting.com, get an uh, update. Um, also, you can go on Facebook and Twitter. Search. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, and you can become a fan. Um, is it follow me? Yeah, follow you on Twitter. Don't follow, you? follow me on Twitter. Yeah, Facebook become fan. a fan yeah. on, uh, on Facebook of DC Freestyle. So. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.